Hi, welcome to this screencast on developing XMPP services with Jabberwocky and Ropal. So this screencast uh, will be broken up into three parts. The first uh, segment of this screencast, we will talk about um, uh, what exactly is an XMPP service and what are the ways you ca that you can go about developing it. In the second segment, uh, what I'll do is I will uh, look at one particular use case or one particular se scenario of uh, developing a service uh, to query a customer database and in the third part uh, I will use uh, an open source uh, development framework called Vopal to, uh, to develop um, this, this use case. So what I'm going to do with this screencast basically is to, uh, is to introduce Jabberwocky and Vopal. So Jabberwocky it's a uh, XMPP container for Glassfish application server and Vopal is a uh, Java uh, framework for developing uh, XMPP uh, applications or services. So let's begin by looking at what uh, what is an XMPP service or application and how can we go about developing such a service. So assuming that I've got an XMPP server uh, called my XMPP server.org and we have got some users who are logged into this uh, log into this XMPP server and they could be chatting with each other or they could be uh, using services like chat rooms uh, for multi-user chat or using uh, or, or, or sharing files using the uh, file transfer service. So if you are a uh, if, if you want to provide additional services to, to, to this particular server how would you go about doing it? One of the easiest way is to use uh, something what I call a service bot. A service bot is basically a program that logs into the XMPP server uh, using a, uh, a a JID or Jabber ID. So for the user to use uh, this particular uh, service bot service, for example, Bender's service bot service, the user must first of all know the JID of this service and then the, what the user will do then do is the user will then uh, add it to his or her roster. So once that has been added and the server and the service bot has accepted, uh, the uh, the invitation, then the users can uh, can can then you know send requests to this service bot for service. Another uh, common way of developing services is to uh, use uh, is to develop server plugins. Most XMPP server has got some sort of a plugin framework, and this plugin framework allows you to do a lot of things. Uh, uh, one of, and one of the things that it allows you to do is to extend the server or to provide additional uh, functionality uh, for the for the server. So, so what you do is uh, you write uh, the 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 services using the API provided by the server, and then you install it with the uh, with with the server, so when the server starts up, the server uh, will start up the uh, all the, these additional services as well. So the services actually runs inside the server's process, the XMPP server's process. So when the user wants to uh, look up the service, what the user will do is the user will send a uh, a disco uh, item query to the uh, to the server, and then the server will will return a list of services, uh, including the uh, including our server, uh, the services that we do, that we have written back to the user. A third way of writing um, XMPP service uh, is external component. External component is really uh, sort of uh, sort of the middle ground between uh, a, s a service bot and a server plugin. First of all, first of all, it is like a server bot in that it runs outside of the server, uh, and it is like a server plugin. Uh, in that, uh, when uh, when the user sends a, a disco item a query to the s to the server, all the services that are provided by the external component will also be returned by the server to uh, back to the user. So, in in other words, the external component is really an extension of the server, but it runs outside of the XMPP server's process space. So. To develop external component, typically you use libraries. If you're using uh, Java to do development, you use uh, libraries like 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 Tinder. And so, ex for example, if you're using Tinder, uh, what you typically need to do is this: you typically need to write a a Java SE application to wrap your 
your, your component, the Java SE application will provide the execution uh, framework for, for, for your component. So this is where Jabberwocky comes in. Uh, Jabberwocky is a container. Uh, it's a container for external component that runs inside Glassfish. And the reason for doing this is twofold. The first, uh, the uh, the first point is that uh, instead of reinventing the wheel, that is, you know, writing writing a uh, a Java SE application to host and run your component. Why not run it inside Glassfish? Glassfish has a reasonably good execution environment, and it is fairly scalable, right? So what you want to do is you want to leverage that. And the second point uh, for running it for 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 having JavaWalkie running inside Glassfish is really uh, the container resources. That is th that is the resources that are provided by Glassfish. So as you know, Glassfish is a Java EE application server. So there are res there are container resources like um, like stateless session beans, uh, like uh, container managed transactions, security, uh, you know, JPA, uh, CDI, uh, etc. So by 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 ha having your application, your component run inside Glassfish, your component can leverage all these uh, resources. So we will look um, at this in a little bit more detail when we are in the third part when when we are actually developing the application. So before we develop the application, so let's look at the application uh, that 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 we are going to develop. So let's say I've got an XMPP server, and assuming that I've got a um, an external component or Jabberwocky uh, with an external component. So and Glassfish is connected to a customer database, and so what we want to do is this we. Uh, so what we want to do is this. I've got a user. So the user wants to find out uh, some customer information. So what this user will do is this. This user will send a message to, uh, to, my, uh, to my external component. And the message will be addressed to query at customer.myserver.org. Customer.myserver.org, it's the subdomain uh, of my external component. A subdomain is basically an, a name that uniquely identifies my component or my service inside the uh, uh, XMPP server's domain. Okay. Also, when the user is sending uh, this message to to query, the user uh, the the body of the message uh, contains the customer ID that the user wish wishes to. To query. So, in other words, the user is sending a message to 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 the component to find out uh, to retrieve the record of a uh, customer one two three in this case. So, once uh, once the component has received the uh, the message, what the component will do is that then the component will use JPA to uh, to send the query down to the to the database, and when the database retrieves and find the record, uh, the, uh, the component will now return the result back to the user. So there are two parts uh, to this uh, re return message. The first part is in the body where we, uh, where we convert the, mes the, uh, the customer information into a string and, and put that in, in the body of the message. So the body of the message will appear. So if you are using a chat client like, like Pigeon, this will come up uh, in, your, uh, in the chat area. The second part, uh, the second thing that the component does is this. The component converts the customer, uh, customer record uh, using JAXP uh, into XML and embed that in the, in the reply message as well. Okay? The idea here is that uh, if uh, if a, if something other than a user, for example, a program is sending the message doing an inquiry for a particular customer, the program can now get take this uh, reply message and using uh, tools like JAXB to convert from XML back to a Java object to be consumed by the by the application. 